Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to discuss how to calculate a rating maximum lower working pressure and maximum lower pressure for flange in pressure vessels. Alright, before we continue, please support this channel by subscribing FN Engineering channel and like our video. Thank you. Alright, here are our outline explanations. We will show the use reference to the design of the flange. Then, we require some data to calculate the flange. Lastly, we apply the design explanation to the study case. We will select the applicable rating, calculate the maximum rubber working pressure, and calculate the maximum rubber pressure. First of all, here are some references for designing a flange. We use ESME B16.5 for flange with size from nominal pipe schedule 1.5 inch to 24 inch and ESME B16.47 for large flange with size from nominal pipe schedule 26 inch to 60 inch. Next, in order to calculate the rating, maximum rubber working pressure and maximum rubber pressure in the flange, we need some data including design pressure, design temperature, and material type. For the size data, it is required if we need a detailed dimension of standard flange. Well, go to the next slide. In this slide, we will solve the study case of flange. We are going to determine the rating, maximum rubber working pressure, and maximum rubber pressure with the following requirements. They are material using SA105, design internal pressure 5 MPa, and design temperature 170 degrees Celsius. For information, we have explained rating and dimension selection in the previous video which is the design of flange in pressure vessels. If you don't see yet the video, I recommend you to see the video first. The link video has written in the description. Alright, firstly, we will select the applicable rating for the design of the flange. In the first step, we have to choose the group material from table 1A. We choose the group material for SA 105, which is material group 1.1, and using table 2.1.1 for determining the ratings. In table 2.1.1, we choose the temperature rows, which higher or the same as the internal design pressure. We get 200 degrees Celsius for the selected row temperature because it is higher than the design temperature 170 degrees Celsius. In the next step, we choose the maximum working pressure which higher or the same as the design internal temperature in the selected row temperature. We get 58.4 bar. It is higher than the design pressure 5 MPa or 50 bar. In the last step, we see the rating in the selected rating of 58.4 bar. We get class 400 for this case. Alright, in the next calculation, we will calculate the maximum rubber working pressure. As per the previous calculation, we will use table 2.1.1 to find the data for the calculation. Next, we also select the temperature row. We will find the temperature row which covers the design temperature 170 degrees Celsius. They are 150 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Celsius. Next, we will use the selected rating or 400 class to find the working pressure. We get 60.1 bar and 58.4 bar in the selected temperature rows. Lastly, 
we do interpolation to get the maximum overblocking pressure value. We use the temperature selective value and working pressure selective value to find maximum overblocking pressure of the flange in 170 degrees Celsius. We get 59.4 bar for MAWP value. All right. In the last calculation, we will calculate the maximum rubber pressure for the flange. In the step one, it's the same with rating selection and MAWP calculation. Next, we choose the lowest temperature row because maximum rubber pressure is rubber pressure at the ambient condition. We get 29 to 38 degrees Celsius for the selected temperature row. Then, we choose the selected rating flange, which is 400 class. Lastly, we get 68.1 bar for the maximum rubber pressure value. Well, we have solved the study case. Here are the flange calculation summaries. We use flange rating 400 class. Maximum rubber working pressure 59.4 bar and maximum rubber pressure 68.1 bar. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time!